What is the client's role in the workers' compensation process? Hi, my name is David Price, and I'm a personal injury trial attorney in Greenville, South Carolina. I dedicate my practice to helping injured people, and I want to share some valuable information with you. One of the first things my clients often ask me is what the extent of their role is in the workers' compensation process. One service your lawyer provides is taking all the legal stuff off of your plate so you can concentrate on getting better. But there's still certain things you'll have to do to help your lawyer help you with your case. One of a workers' compensation claimant's most important jobs during the workers' compensation process is diligently seeking care. It is vitally important that a claimant arrive to their doctor's appointments on time and that they follow all doctor's recommendations. In addition, it is important that a claimant call their attorney to tell us of the status of their care. If you do not call us, we might not know what doctors you are seeing and what care you are treating. And we won't know when you've been released to go back to work. It is also important that a claimant keep their lawyer informed on the status of their benefits and to let their attorney know promptly if their benefits stop or if the amounts change. If a claimant is released by their doctor to go back to work in a limited capacity, then they must be sure to go back to work and to diligently try to perform their job within those restrictions, so long as the job provided by the employer really adheres to the restrictions required by the doctor. If the employer tries to require a claimant to come back to work, but does not truly give them a job within their restrictions, then it's very important that the client let their attorney know. In addition, a client may be asked to give a deposition at some point during the workers' compensation process. The client will be required to come to their lawyer's office, where the employer's lawyer will have the opportunity to ask them questions under oath in front of a court reporter to find out how the client would testify if the case goes to a hearing. At some point during the workers' compensation process, there are likely to be settlement negotiations wherein the client's lawyer will call them, explain to them the status of the negotiations, and provide the client the information necessary to make a determination whether or not to accept a settlement. The decision whether or not to accept any settlement always belongs to the client. If no settlement can be reached, then the client may be asked to come to one or more hearings in front of the Workers' Compensation Commission. The client will be required to participate throughout the entire hearing, and will be required to testify at the hearing. Prior to the hearing, the client will have at least one meeting with their lawyer to discuss the hearing, what to expect at the hearing, and to practice the testimony prior to the hearing. My name is David Price, and I help injured workers go through the workers' compensation process every day. If you've been injured at work, then I want to help you. Please call me at 864-271-2636 or visit my website at greenvillelegal.com. I want to provide you the personal, dedicated representation that you deserve.